About 40% of strokes are related to carotid disease, which really means cholesterol buildup inside of the carotid artery. Everyone as they age does have risk of having increased cholesterol buildup in their blood vessels, but particularly we look at the other risk factors, things like high blood pressure, having diabetes, smoking, lack of exercise. These risk factors can increase the chances of carotid disease developing in a person. Usually some persons come in with symptoms of a stroke or has had a stroke that's been confirmed. We do always want to get a good look at their blood vessels. We can either use an ultrasound to assess the blood vessels or a CT test or an MRI test. The mainstay of treatment for carotid disease as a first line is medical management. We really want to take great care to make sure patients are on appropriate blood thinners like aspirin making sure those risk factors are well controlled, things like high blood pressure, cholesterol, or diabetes, and getting them on a good treatment plan. In addition, if the blockage gets to a certain degree, usually around 70 to 80 percent, we may consider do some kind of treatment to reopen the blood vessel. Carotidendorectomy is a surgery where the surgeon will go and make an incision in the neck and expose the artery, then open up the artery to clear out the blockage from the artery. Whereas carotid stenting involves us going through the blood vessels up to where the blockage is located and laying a stent, which essentially is a wire mesh that can be used to prop open the blood vessel. We have all the specialists required to take care of all the aspects of the stroke and carotid artery disease. We're able to assess the medical side of the equation, making sure that you're on the appropriate medications and on a good lifestyle regimen to prevent strokes from happening in the future. In addition, we both have the surgeons as well as the proceduralists that can deal with the carotid artery disease, finding the best option in terms of what is going to be best to treat. We do like a team approach, so we often will discuss the cases amongst the team members to make sure that the patient's going to get the best treatment recommendation for their particular condition.